Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Miguel here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Pokemon card collection of 2023. So last year, in 2022, I made a video exactly the same thing. So I made a Pokemon card collection video where I showed my entire Pokemon card collection last year. But since then, I actually sold some cards and I actually bought a lot of other cards. So um, quite a bit of things switched in my collection. So I'm going to be making a, an update video this year. So yeah, let's get started. And... By the way, sorry for not uploading too much videos. Um, I'm just going through a lot right now. And yeah, I'll make an update video in like the next few videos, maybe in the next few days or so, maybe I'll make an update video on what's going on. But basically a lot of things will happen in the course of two months um, this year. So yeah, I'll explain that in another video. But today I'm gonna show you guys my entire Pokemon card collection. So. Yeah, okay, we're gonna start off with a Dragonite Hollow from Ancient Origins. Got some random hollows here. Some Ancient Tree Hollows from um, XY era cards. We got a, so got some level X's here. We got a Miss Magus GL level X. By the way, sorry for your bad lighting. Um, yeah, it's like my, the lighting in my room is, has always been bad, so I do apologize. But Miss Magus G, GL level X, Palkia G level X. We got um, Unknown Hollow. Um, old school, we got a cool Porygon Hollow, a Mew Prime, very nice, a um, Team Magma Grotto in the X Full Art, we got two of them, I'm still missing the Kyogre, but yeah, this is from Double Crisis, I believe, XY, uh, we got a Pikachu, this is just a regular promo, but look at that artwork, dude, that artwork is amazing, yeah, you got Chess Spin, Pikachu, and Sylveon. Very nice artwork. Just a regular Hollow from XY, um, but it's just a really nice card. I love the artwork on this. So, we got a Shiny Charmander from Hidden Fades. You got a Vaporeon V Full Art from, I believe, Evolving Skies. By the way, sorry if my collection is a bit like messy. It's not like organized. So, yeah, because it's been a while since I've actually taken a look at my Pokemon cards. So, yeah, that's why it's kind of. It's not organized, so I do apologize for just it being scattered like this. But yeah, we got a Vaporeon, V Full Art, Evolving Skies, Mega Rayquaza EX from the best of XY. Um, we got some Charizard top card. This is a die cut, so we got some top Charizards there. I believe I have the Hollow version of this on a PSA eight, but I think I sold that last year. So that's that. We got a Charizard G Reverse from Supreme Victors. Charizard Hollow from Legendary Collection. No, Legendary Treasures, sorry. And we got a Charizard pre-release team up. Very nice. We got an Espeon, like Hollow Cracked Ice. Very nice. I think this is, it doesn't say it's a promo, but I think I got this from like a blister pack. So these are actually quite rare. These Cracked Ice, Hard Ghost with Silver Hollow. These Cracked Ice pattern, very nice. We got a Charizard Hollow. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a Hollow. Like I said, my lighting is pretty bad, but it's a Hollow from Supreme Victors. Or not Supreme Victors. This is um Secret Wonder Seven April. Um, we got a Washrodom, like a little secret right there. We got a Gengar Hollow from Fossil Jungle Hollow. Um, Vaporeon. And we got a Fossil Moltres Hollow. We got a Meganium Hollow. Neo Destiny. For alligator hollow and typhlosion hollow from new destiny as well and we got a dark for alligator first edition hollow very nice dark for alligator there first edition hollow near i think this is like near mint as well yeah i wanted to send this to psa it could get like a nine or a ten actually no this has no shot at a ten actually um but i, I wanted to send this to psa but nowadays sending card to psa is just it takes months and it's not cheap so Maybe in the future, once I have some spare, like once I'm doing well financially, I might send these to get graded. But for now, nah. Because yeah, like I said, sending cards to PSA or BGS or CGC, they're not cheap. So yeah, I'll just keep it raw for now. Got a Mega Charizard DX from Evolutions. Um, we got a Charizard DX from Detective Pikachu, the Japanese. This is a filler card. I actually have a graded version of this as well. Oh, not this. Um, this one. So basically, this is like an error card. It's just a blank card. Um, don't ask why I bought it. I just love error cards. So this is just a um, yellow border filler card. I think these are error. They forgot to like put the artwork on the card. So it's just a, literally a blank card, which is pretty cool. I got, I got a graded one. We got a CGC 5 here, which I have no idea why this is a 5. But 
yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this. I can't see any scratches because it's like all white. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So maybe when I meet like a famous illustrator in the future, maybe I'll let him sign in here, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is like an error card, so always nice to add into the collection. Okay, we got a first edition Mel Energy. Charizard V Full Art. This is from the, I think this is from Champion's Path, Elite Trainer Box, the promo. We got some, so these, these, are, these are from Expedition. So we got the Cloyster Hollow, Polyrath, another Cloyster, we got two Cloysters. Arbok, which is, a, look at that artwork, bro. Classic, very nice. Doug Trio, and that's that. So we got five Expedition Hollows. Very nice. I think I got a, I think I bought this as a set. All five of these for a certain price, which I think I got a pretty good price on that a couple years ago, so that's why I have that. We got a Dark Dragonite Hollow. I believe I pulled this one from a Team Rocket pack a couple years ago, off camera, but very nice. It's not centered pretty well, but it's still a nice card near mint, nevertheless. We got a Dark Gyarados pre-release, and we got a Golden Retriever. Or random receiver? No, this is a random receiver. Golden Retriever. I, I forgot what you call it, but it's like a Japanese um, secret rare from XY Ancient Origins, the Japanese version. So we got an XY era trainer's gold card, very nice. So we got a random receiver, secret rare gold from Plasma Storm. We got this random Charizard promo. Um, we got some more Expedition cards. We got that's a couple non holo Charizard from Expedition. So non holo. I don't think I have the holo actually. But I have the non-hollow there. We got another one. So I believe this is my second one. Charizard V Full Art promo. This is the sealed one though. I think the other one I opened. Um, these are from the Elite Trainer Boxes promo, Champion's Path. Was it Champion's Path or Shining Fates? I forgot where um, this was uh, from. I think it was Champion's Path, the ETB. We got this Neo Destiny. No, not Neo, not Destiny. Just a Neo promo. I think this is an Entei though. I'm not gonna open it, it's still sealed like a old school Entei promo. Very nice, like a holo there. We got three first edition Machamps from those theme decks, um, which I still have a couple sealed actually. Um, so this is what it comes with, like those um, base set star decks. Um, this is what you get inside. This is the one with the shadow, so this is not shadowless. So I think I have two sealed and one of them is I opened it. So this one is not sealed and then I got two sealed. Um, just so I have like a variety of different um, versions of that. So it's pretty cool. We got some more ancient trade cards. I absolutely love these ancient trade cards. That's why I added them to this um, to this stack. Look, just look at that artwork, bro. This is probably one of my favorite Gyarados, uh, one of my favorite Gyarados um, artworks out there. If not my favorite, look at that. That's just an amazing artwork. For just a regular holo, that's amazing. And we got the Japanese one. I think this is from Bandit Ring, which is like the Japanese Ancient Origins, and then this is from Ancient Origins. So yeah, I, by the way, I started collecting Pokemon. I think I mentioned this on my last um, last year's video. But yeah, I started collecting Pokemon cards at around 2015, and I believe um, Ancient Origins, or was it Breakthrough? XY Breakthrough or Ancient Origins was um, the set that, that, like when I got into Pokemon, that was like the set that was, you know, the newest. So this is why these cards are like a huge throwback for me. Because this is when I started collecting Pokemon in the same era, so very nice. And um, you got Palkia and Dialga Legend. These older cards, I bought this like... I actually bought these older cards um, around like 2019, 2020. So these are like... I, 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 didn't, I didn't actually like get this when this was released. Because this is like 2010, right? Yeah, these um, Heart Goes with Silver cards. We got Palkia and Dialga Legend. And we got a Dark Rank Cresselia Legend there. Very nice little half art from the hard gold soul silver era. I think these are my only legend cards, so yeah. And they're getting more expensive nowadays, so I may have to buy more before, you know, they go up skyrocket in price cuz I really love those cards, especially the Lugia. The Lugia version of this is amazing, dude. I need it. Um we got some these are from okay, I think I have a graded one of this, which I'll show you later. Um but these are from vending machines, so these are 1996 Cardas Bandai um promo cards so these came in vending machines so these are really hard to grade um i have the charizard one venusaur and blastoise so i have the trio there i think there's two different versions the red and the green one i'm not entirely sure if there's a difference in rarity i'm assuming not they're just like difference in color i don't think one color is rarer than the other 
but yeah these came from vending machines so they're pretty cool i think i got a pretty good deal on these um so i think i bought this before it even was on demand because nowadays i think for the charizard red or green it's like a couple hundred bucks if not a little bit like over a hundred dollars um the cheapest one i've seen so yeah it's not cheap nowadays but i i think i bought this before it even like got demand so yeah well i think i got this for a really good price i can't remember exactly it's like 50 60 dollars for the entire set so very nice this card though i think this is one of my more expensive um this is one of my more expensive raw cards that i did not grade which like i said sending cards to get graded nowadays is so expensive so maybe i'll send this soon but i'm definitely gonna plan i'm definitely planning to send this in the future to psa or bgs or cgc but not now because i'm kind of on a budget right now so yeah sending cards to psa or just any grading company in general nowadays is so expensive so i can't afford to right now but in the future maybe we got a crystal type celebi 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 from sky ridge check that out like i said it's kind of hard to see the hollow because my lighting is pretty bad but very nice dude crystal celebi from sky ridge this is the same set of the sky the, the crystal charizard so it's in the same set sky ridge I do not I don't have the Crystal Charizard though, unfortunately. It is an insanely expensive card, but I do have the Celebi, which I believe is like the second or third most expensive card in the entire Sky Ready set. So I'll take that. We got a shining Noctowl here. Very nice. I think this is my only shining card from the Neo series. So I think I have one crystal, one shining, and I have a couple gold stars. So that's my only shining card. And this is one of my gold stars. We got a Japanese Gyarados EX. Oh, not, not EX. Japanese Gyarados gold star from, I believe, EX Hall and Phantoms. But the Japanese version. There's a set symbol there. Like I said, I do apologize. I said this a thousand times. I apologize for the bad lighting. But yeah, I hope you guys can see the hollow. But yeah, the lighting is pretty bad. Yeah, this is in a really bad condition though. But I really got this for a really good price. So it's fine. Um, we got some old school EX cards over here. We got a Golem EX from EX. I'd say, I want to say Ruby and Sapphire, if I'm not mistaken. Golem EX there. We got an Aerodactyl EX from, this is EX Sandstorm, I remember. Yeah, really nice card. These old school EX cards with the silver border. It's just really nice, dude. And we got a Meganium EX from EX Holland Phantoms. No, this is from EX Unseen Forces, I believe. And then Ho EX. This is probably my um, my most like my favorite like EX card from the EX series. Out of all these four, I think these are my only old school EX cards. Out of all these four, I think yeah, Ho is definitely my favorite. Or the Aerodactyl is just amazing. So yeah, this is mint by the way. I think I pulled this from a pack as well. So it's like near mint. It's a mint condition. Very nice. Love this card, dude. Um, so. Yeah, next up we have, okay, we'll see that. We got this Charizard. This is from one of those, um, I believe it's similar to this one. It's like from those vending machine cards, but this is like a different series. So we got another old school one. Um, and then we got this one too. This is another card from one of these vending machines. Um, really old. <laughs> God, this one is a Pokemon machine. It's like a hand drone, it's pretty nice. And we got a random Rayquaza EX. I'm not sure why this is here. <laughs> That's super random. A random Rayquaza EX Japanese from the best of XY. We got a Zapdos Hollow. I think this is from base set. Yeah, it has the old school back. Yeah, this is a base set. Is it no rarity? Nah, it's, uh, it's just a regular one. All right, next up, we're gonna get to um, some graded cards. Okay, so we got a special delivery Charizard. I have one as a PSA 9 and I got one just sealed. Um, I think the prices of this kind of went down a lot, so I kind of took an L, but it's fine. The price of this severely dropped, so I definitely could, I definitely should have waited until the price were how much it, it is right now, because I definitely bought this like a couple months ago for way more or some, so kind of unfortunate. But it is, it is what it is. So I have a sealed one, just a just a raw, and I have a PSA nine version. Same with the Pikachu. I have the special delivery Pikachu as well. I'm just miss, missing the Beedoof. I believe there's three so far. Special delivery cards, the Pikachu, Charizard, and the Bidoof with a Charizard as well. So I don't have the Bidoof. I think that's the most expensive one um, next to the Pikachu. 
Um, so I think the Pikachu is the second most expensive special delivery card. Um, I bought mine for a really for a lot actually. I bought this when it was like a month in after it was released. So I think I paid like 400 USD for this. Nowadays it's like 100 bucks. So I definitely took an L on this, but um, it is what it is though. <laughs> it is what it is. I definitely could have got it cheaper if I waited like a couple of years. I definitely I could have got like I could have saved like 300 something US dollars, but it's fine. I mean at least I have the card in my collection and I don't have to worry about getting it. So that's that. We got. I actually got this as a gift. So we got a Toys R Us, um, just a random PSA 10 Pikachu from Toys R Us, and then we got a Jolteon Gold Star. So this is my second Gold Star that I showed this video. We got a Jolteon from EX Power Keepers Gold Star Near Mint Seven. Not bad. Very nice. I was actually expecting this. To, I was hoping this would get an eight, but yeah, it got a seven. It's fine. I love this card, dude. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna go through some other cards now. Oh, we got some, okay, I forgot to show this, but okay, we got five. I actually bought this from Japan. So I was in Japan two weeks ago. So I bought the Scarlet Violet Pikachu promo cards. Just look at these artwork, they're amazing. They're still sealed, I didn't open any of them. They're still like in their packet. Um, but look, they're really nice, dude. I got some Scarlet Violet Pikachu promos. I think this came with a Switch. So if, I don't know, this came with a game, I think. So if you bought the game, this was, this was like, it comes with it. So yeah, I bought like five of them for 2000 yen each, which is a little under 20 USD, which I think is the same price um, on eBay. So really nice card, I got five of them. Um, Yeah, I think that's it for the raw cards. Um, we're gonna get to some more PSA cards now. We got a Reshira, Re Reshizard, Reshiram and Charizard, Tag Team GX All-Stars, gold, very nice. I think the English one is worth way less than this because the Japanese one did come from a set, as you can see. 220 out of 173 Ultra Rare SN12A. So this is from, the, um, from a set. So I actually had to pull this card so it's very, very nice. So I think the English version of this card is a promo in like a box. So it's a lot cheaper. So yeah, very nice. Um, we got a CP6 PSA 10 Charizard. These cards are really easy to grade. So, but I think its peak was around like a thousand dollars, but now it's like a couple hundred bucks. It's fine though. I think I got this for way less than that. I bought, I bought this before like I think around like 20, 2018, 2019 when I bought this, so can't complain. Got a really nice deal on this. So yeah, CP6, PSA 10 Charizard. Next up is the original 1999 base set Charizard. Very nice. Um, Yeah, that's that. <laughs> There's not much to say. This is the iconic card. It's not first edition, not shadowless, just a regular unlimited Charizard, but still PSA 8, pretty nice. Definitely one of the more iconic cards, if not the most iconic card in the hobby. So that's very nice. Next up is the this card. All right, so I already showed this earlier. Um, so this is a BGS9 version, which is insanely, insanely nice. I'm very happy for this. I actually graded this myself a couple of years ago. Um, and I'm very happy this got a nine. It's actually like, not even that bad, the grade. Like, it's actually like above average. You got three nines and a nine five. Um, well, it's not close to a nine five, but you know, it's not like, yeah, it's very like, it's above average nine. So it's very nice. Um, so I have the entire set, the trio, Blastoise, Venus, and Charizard on a raw version, not graded. And I have the Charizard on a BGS nine. So this, yeah, like I said, this came from a vending machine. So the fact that this got a nine is amazing. I doubt this will get a nine though, so I might. Have, I'm probably just gonna keep this raw and never grade it because it's it's not in the best shape. Um, but it's fine. I already have the nine version, so not sure how much this costs now. But yeah, definitely a really, really hard to grade card. So the fact that you got a nine is amazing. And then next up, I show this on my other Pokemon videos, but these Thompson cards are. Yeah, these are the very first Pokemon cards ever made. Yep, for confirmation, these are graded by BGS. I mean, two of them are. 
Um, as you can see, 1995 Thompson blue back Charizard. So this is the blue back. There's um there's a green back and a blue back. So minus the blue back. Not sure what's like the difference in rarity, but minus the blue back. Um, there's also the no number version of this, which are worth way more. Mine has the number, as you can see, 006. But if mine doesn't have that, if it doesn't have the number, it's worth way more. But yeah, that is like almost impossible to find at a cheap price. So this is just a 5, BGS 5. These things are ridiculously hard to grade. So yeah, a 5 is reasonable here. And I think Beckett stopped grading these now. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I graded mine, but yeah, I got a 5. Um, so this is the non holo version, and then this is the holographic version from the same set. So I have one that's not graded, and I have one that's also a BJS5. So it's a 1995 Thompson Charizard Prism, 1995. So the Japanese base set came out at 1996, and then the first edition Shadowless in English came out in 1999. Same with the Unlimited. So this is officially the first Charizard ever made. It's either this or this. It's one of these. Right, it's one of these because it's 1996, and there there are some speculations that this originally came out in 1997, so it could be this card that's the very first in a uh, very first Pokemon card. But I don't know if I'm being honest. All right, for me, I I'll still think it's this one since it's 1995. But some say that this came out in 1997, so it's kind of confusing. But it's either one of these, so I'm pretty sure I have one of the first cards. It's either one of these uh, Pokemon cards ever made. So. Very nice. Um, so I have the the two different variants in the hollow. I, this is the square type hollow variant with the same back, and then this is the the, um, the cracked ice hollow variant. I'm not sure if there's a difference in rarity, like I said, but yeah, they're pretty much just the same cards. So got that. Tops and Charizard. It's very nice. Um, next up, probably one of my most expensive cards in my collection is this right here just take a minute to look at that amazing art artwork sorry about that um but yeah just look at this card dude the artwork on this is amazing um this is not my favorite card though i have a favorite card i'll tell you guys my favorite card later in this video but this is not my favorite card but this is definitely one of the one of my most favorite cards in my collection because th this artwork is amazing though Look at that, like the lightning is just like holographic and everything. You got the Pokemon, other Pokemon in the back, we got Zekrom in the back as well. So this is the Pikachu. Um, this is the, uh, yeah, this is the Pikachu from the Collection Ma Master Battle set. So this is like, I think the last set from Sun and Moon. This was not released in English, I believe. Or was it? I don't know. But I believe it's not released in English. So this is a Japanese exclusive. The very last promo in Sun and Moon. Yeah, this is uh, promo number 400, I believe. 400 Sun and Moon promo. Um, so I believe, yeah, in the set, there's also the um, the trainer version. So that trainer card and this card was the last card of the Sun and Moon era, which was not released in English, I believe. So very nice. I'm not sure the price of this card nowadays, but last time I checked, it was around like 1,000, 1,100, 1,100 USD. So yeah, it's amazing, this card. Oh, I love this card, dude. And then my final graded card that I'm gonna be showing to you guys in my collection is this Charizard Hyper Rare from Burning Shadows, the Japanese version. BGS 9.5, the gold slab. Very nice. It's kind of hard to see actually. It kind of looks like it's a silver slab, but it's a gold slab. It's just my lighting is pretty bad. But yeah, BGS 9.5 to have seen the battle rainbow rare charizard gx hyper rare so this is the very first charizard hyper rare that was ever released i believe so very nice um i believe the japanese one is worth way more than the english one similar situation as this um because hold up where is it wait where was that oh it's right here yeah similar to this case because this card it was also released in english but as a promo um, so it was like the Japanese one is worth way more than the English. So I think it's a similar situation to this one because the, I don't know. So the English version is worth like a little bit less than the Japanese one. Cause I think the Japanese version of this card, which is this one is, um, this one, I don't know. This set is pretty short print. Um, 
I'm not sure why they did it, but yeah, it's just that they made it so short print that yeah, it's really hard to find these nowadays. So if you actually try and look for this on eBay, it's actually like, it's really hard to find one graded, honestly. Or like in like a PSA 10 or a BGS, it's really hard to find these on eBay, but I'm assuming it's around like 900 to $1,000 as well. I'm assuming that's a price on this, which is actually worth a lot more than the English. Um, the English one, the English version of this is Burning Shadows, by the way, if you guys are wondering. So this is just the Burning Shadows Charizard, but Japanese. So very nice. All right, so that is that. Wait, I still have my binder, I forgot. All right, so I still have my, my binder over here. So as you guys know, my favorite Pokemon card is not my graded cards. It's this card right here, this Pikachu Monk. Okay, let me just take this out. Make sure I don't damage it. But this card right here. It's not holographic or anything. It's just uh, ordinary Pikachu full art card. That's not like it doesn't have any hollow pattern to it, which would make which I like to be honest, bro. It's not nothing too extravagant in the card, no texture, nothing. It's a it's inspired by this Norwegian painting called the the Scream, um, painted by Edvard Munk, I believe. So this the artwork of this card is inspired by that painting, which is my favorite painting of all time. So. The fact that my favorite painting of all time has a Pokemon card inspired to it. This is why this is my favorite card, dude. Just check this out. Um, so this is the Pikachu one. Um, there's different cards in the set too. There's a Psyduck, Eevee, Rowlet, and there's a Mimikyu as well, which I do not have. I need that card, but I believe the Mimikyu version of this card is worth like three or four thousand dollars, which is some ridiculous. I can't I definitely can't afford that. But back then when I wanted to buy it, it was around like $200. I still can't afford it. Um, I wish I would have bought it back then, but I didn't have money back then. So yeah, it is what it is. So I still, I don't know where, if I'm going to be able to get the Mimikyu in the future, but hopefully I can so I can complete my set. But I have the Pikachu one at least, which I do like more than the Mimikyu. So really nice. I don't want to grade this card just because it's really nice in my binder. So you got that. This is just an amazing, my favorite Pokemon cards ever. Yeah. Like I said, the fact that my favorite painting of all time, the Monk or the Scream, has a collaboration, or not collaboration, has a Pokemon card inspired to it, is amazing, dude. So yeah, but yeah, my favorite card in the set is obviously Pikachu. And then the next is probably Mimikyu, which I don't have. And then the next card is probably Eevee, and then Psyduck, and then Rowlet. But yeah, this, this collection is amazing. So there's five cards in the set, I have four of them. Maybe, maybe in my dream, maybe in the future, dude. In the future, maybe I'll get the Mimikyu to complete the set, but damn, those cards are amazing. All right, anyways, um, we're gonna move on to some, okay, these are from the Ultra Premium Collection, I believe, from um, the celebrations that came out like a couple years ago. So we got the Gold Charizard, the Pikachu, um, the Pikachu V and the Pokeball. So these came from like the same Ultra Premium Collection celebrations box. We got the 25th anniversary celebrations as well, but the Japanese version that you had to pull from those special packs. We got uh, the trio here, Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, and the Team Rocket here, just to fill the four page binder. This one, also one of my favorite artworks. Um, we got the Pikachu and Cramorant, I believe, post office stamp promo. So I'm not sure the exact name of the card, but it's like a post office stamp box thing. I, I forgot what it's called, but these are amazing. We got a Unagawa Pikachu promo. We got a Yoshida full art from Detective Pikachu. This, I think this is the only secret for, bleh, I can't speak, Jesus Christ. All right. Um, this is the only secret rare um, card in um, the, the set, I believe. So that's pretty nice. Um, we got a Hoopa EX and Pikachu EX. It's really hard to see the hollow pattern because of the lighting, like I said, but it is hollow. Wow, it's actually, wait, how can you see? Wait, bro, why can't you, wait, is the lighting that bad? You can't see the hollow. But yeah, I wanna show you guys this, but... Oh, there it is, there you go. There's the hollow pattern to it. Yeah, so most of these cards are like really hard to see the hollow pattern because of this damn lighting, dude. The lighting in my room is so bad. I do apologize for that. But we got a really nice Togepi secret right there. Look at that, like that's a cute artwork. We got this Charizard DX that I bought in Japan a couple weeks ago for 7,000 yen, old school. Very nice. We got a Pikachu KFC promo from Indonesia. It has a KFC logo as you can see. And, and, and it's Indo, so not English. I don't think this was released in English uh, for KFC. So 
Next up, we got a Shibuya Pikachu promo from Pokemon Center when it first opened in Shibuya back in 2019. So we got that. We got a birthday Pikachu from the World Collection. So this is not the Celebrations Pikachu. This is the World Collection. As you can see, it has that, has that stamp to it. And then we got this Pikachu, Poketar Pikachu from Australia. I think this is also a rare card, so that's pretty nice. And we got some Meiji cards. These came from chocolate boxes. I'm not sure if, I know a lot of you guys don't know this card, but yeah, these came from chocolate boxes. So we got a Charizard and Blastoise there, two of them, and we got the Charizard and others. These are really hard to find nowadays, especially in mint condition. But yeah, these came from chocolate boxes. I think I made a video about this as well. So very nice. Um, Make sure I check that out. And this one is also a from a vending machine, similar to this one. So it's in like similar... Yeah, I think they're from the same vending machine, but this is like 1997. This is 1996. So yeah, this is like one year younger than that one. So that one is obviously worth more than this, but it's from like the same vending machine series. So yeah, we got a couple Mega Charizard DX full arts from Evolutions. We got a Reshiram and Charizard Hyper Rare. Um, similar to this one, but this is the gold, this is the silver. We got a Charizard and Breaks in GX Full Art. A Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates, I believe. We got a Hidden Fates Charizard, but a Chinese, this is the Chinese version, as you can see. Not the Japanese, this is a Chinese version of the Shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates. Charizard DX Full Art from Flashfire. Charizard V Full Art. Oh, we're gonna get some to some older cards here. We got a Charizard Hollow from Legendary Collection, has a medal there. We got a Charizard from Legendary Collection as well, but not Hollow. Charizard Reverse from Evolutions. Charizard Hollow from Evolutions. Charizard EX Full Art from, uh, I believe, the Generations boxes, the promo boxes. Very nice. We got a Charizard and Reshiram GX Full Art, the promo. Um, we got a Char Blaine's Charizard from Gym Challenge Japanese. And we got a Dark Charizard from Japanese Team Rocket. We got. Mega Charizard X, EXs from Flashfire. We got the Japanese and the English. And then we got the Y version, but both English. This is the secret word that was good to see. Um, 107 out of 106. So this is the secret rare. And then this one is the non secret rare from Flashfire. And we got, I think these are the, this is the last from this binder. Yeah, it's pretty, it's still pretty incomplete, but I'm working on it. So yeah, this is the last page. We got the Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, and Pikachu e-reader japanese promo very nice so yeah it's kind of hard to see most of these cards like this especially this page bro it's really hard to see the hollow wait let me just check this out yeah let's check that out yeah it's really hard to see the hollow bro this lighting is insane hold up is that better it's gotta be better oh that's way better but it's too bright though yeah but yeah, there you go. Got some. Those those are the Mega Charizard DX full arts from Evolutions. Check those out. Yeah, yeah. This lighting is way better, bro. I should have done this the entire video, but I don't want to. I don't want to repeat. I don't want to restart the video. So yeah, we got those. Very nice. So that is my binder. So that is pretty much my entire collection. Actually, I also have some. Um, these are all GX cards, I believe. Yeah, these are all like GX cards and full arts, but these are like more modern era cards. So yeah, I'm not going to be showing this on this video just because it's already too long. I only showed my best cards, so I don't think this is like relevant because most of these are like just regular V, V maxes and stuff. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll show it, but not now because I think I just showed my best collection, my best cards in the in my collection. So the video won't be too long. This one is also full of GX cards. And then, yeah, I believe this one is also. So yeah, we got a bunch of GX cards here, which GX cards, EX cards, Vs as well, that are just like, just normal. They're not really that, they're not worth that much. And I believe these are all like sealed products. Um, um, so these are some, some of my comics, um, but I got some sealed Pokemon cards here too. We got the, Detective Pikachu case file. We got, I, I think I got two of these. We got um, some theme decks. So you get the idea. We got. I also have some sealed products, but nothing special. So that is going to wrap up 
my entire collection kind of a mess right now i have to fix this but i pretty much just showed my best cards in this video i didn't show all my collection because that would take hours so i showed my best cards hope you guys did enjoy today's video sorry for the long video and make sure you guys follow me on instagram um i have two instagram accounts one for personal and one for my pokemon so i have a pokemon instagram account that i'm actually um pretty active nowadays so make sure you guys follow them all in my description and sorry for not uploading too much videos on my channel like i said it's been pretty hectic for the past few months so i'll explain myself on another video in the future but that is gonna wrap today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out and sorry for the long video Peace.